Hey guys, this is Spook, and welcome to a first tutorial of the new electrical system. Uh, this one's just going to be a basic light system. Um, it's not as simple to some people as it is to others. It's not. It doesn't come as naturally to, to others. Um, took me a little while to figure it out, especially with the door opening stuff as well. So this is going to be a basic introduction to the electricity. Now, solar panels. Me and my friend yesterday were having a discussion on where the sun sets in the west and the east. It's slightly off center on this server, so I'm looking towards the east, but the sun's sitting at around 60, and so it will probably set at around uh, 250-ish. Anyway, so you want to angle these solar panels towards the sun. So that one's directly there. And once the sun goes over and back down towards the west, you would want another one facing that way. And we'll put that one uh, there. Now we'll ignore this one for a minute, but we'll just set up a simple circuit. So you have a power supply, the solar panel. Now you want somewhere to store that power, so you'd want a battery. Then take your wiring tool, and on the side you'll see electrical output, which is 30 volts we'll call it, or 30 electrics. Left click on it once, onto the battery, power in, because power is coming in from the solar panel and now you'll want power output which will go straight to the light now you can hover over the battery with your wiring tool you'll be able to see it's counting up so currently at 2 minutes 6 seconds, 7 seconds, 8 seconds so with your ceiling light you can stick it right here take your wiring tool then you want power in, ignore the pass through for now, we'll discuss that in a minute Left click on the power in once. You can run it straight to the battery, but then you have a wire kind of cutting through the air. So I like to left click back to the wall, left click straight down to the floor, to the side, and just kind of make it a little bit more neat. Hook it up to the power output on the battery, and your light turns on. Awesome. Now the battery will start to drain now because you're using the power. Now, in the game, I don't think this can charge the battery while it's using power. It's one or the other at the minute. But to combat that, you'll put a switch in the circuit. So hold right-click on the power output to get rid of the, the wire, which breaks the circuit, turns the lights off. Then you want to make a switch. And these are pretty simple. You've got electric input, which would be from the battery, and output, which would go to the light. So we'll hook it up to the battery first, left-click, straight down, make it neat to the battery and output up to the ceiling across and power in. Now you see the light doesn't turn on the battery's still charging. Flip the switch, light turns on flick it off, goes off and that is it. That is a simple light circuit. Okay so that's your simple light circuit set up. Now I just want to say that this is all on week one of the electric launch, so this could change it any time. And it probably will, because I think some certain things are bugged. So we've set up our light circuit. Now, once the sun gets over the solar panel, this isn't going to charge the battery anymore. So this is going to stop counting up, and you're just going to be kind of left with a very limited power supply for your light switch. So you want to hook this second solar panel up so it gets a full day's worth of charging. And to do that, you're going to want one of these, which is a root combiner, which can combine two power sources and output them as one. Now, it's supposed to add them together, going off the description in the, on the item, but it doesn't at the minute. I don't know if it's broken or what. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put this in a. I'm going to put this here. Grab your wiring tool, and you've got root power one and root power two. So 1 and 2, and you've just got your combined power output. So we're going to break this circuit here, and we're going to hook these up to the root power connections on the um, combiner. So you've got root power 1, large solar panel, and we'll go grab this one. And root power 2. Now, in theory, 
the combined power out should be 60 because there's 30 on each but it's not but that's okay they'll fix it probably or I may even be interpreting the item wrong okay and go ahead and hook this up to your power in on the battery and you'll see the battery is now charging okay and now that's all set up battery's charging the light still works when you turn it on and off so that's good okay so now I've got our light set up with our two solar panels we're going to look at the pass through function on this light and what pass through means is exactly what it looks like it allows electricity to come in pass through the the item which is the light and carry on somewhere else so I've put two more lights up so we'll go onto the pass through side of this light back to the wall straight down and onto the power in because you're coming off the power in from the this is an output really from the light and from this pass through back to the wall to the other power in on the other light now all these lights are connected now this switch turns all three on now what you need to look out for is say for instance here power in is seven volts but because we're taking more power away there's voltage difference apparently they've thought of that so your power in here is five and this should be three yes so as you get more and more lights you're going to need more power really now these batteries only give off a certain amount of power so we'll have a look here doesn't actually tell you so yeah okay so there's more than one way to, to skin a cat as we all know and there's more than one way to do this so what we can do instead of having, having the pass throughs coming along to each light what we can do we can put a splitter in which is here it splits an electrical signal into three multiple signals so what we would do we could put it in the middle grab your wiring tool and just break the connections here and you want to break them all on every light as well doesn't take long so that's done let's so say your power in would come from the switch because the power is coming in through the switch from the battery to your splitter and now if we turn this on you got power in out and three power outs so they've got eight volts each Uh, charging's not very high at the minute. Where's the sun? Oh, historically up there. Anyway, so your first power out would go to the first light. Turns on. Power out two. Second light. Power out three. Third light. So that kind of takes more wires out of the scenario, but it's just another way to do something. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. That's just a very basic introduction to the electricity system. Now these batteries, I think they output 30 volts from what I read. Some please correct me if I'm wrong. And I'll just show you, you can get a large battery as well. I'll touch on them in possible further videos if I do any more. And they're just in here. These are the large batteries. As you can see, they hold four hours worth of charge. I'm not sure how much the small ones take. I've never fully charged one. So I've got three of them in my base and this is my kind of electric room as I call it. Um, so I've got, I've got lights that run through the entire base. I've got one here, 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 there and I think I've got two down there somewhere. And the other thing I have is kind of some switches to shut doors in case I'm getting raided. I don't need to shut them all quickly. So yeah it's really it's a really cool update it's going to open the doors to a lot of different things so I can't wait to see what some people start making and obviously with further patches this sort of thing you can go on it so hard and add so many things to the game using this new system which is cool I think I spent a good few hours yesterday just playing around with it it's frustrating when you think something should be working but it's blatantly not and you're trying to figure out why and your head kind of gets a bit fried for a while but it's all good so yeah 
If you want to see any specific tutorial, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to make it work and explain it. And thank you for watching, you know, if you like the video, and I'll see you next time.